You should still be in the scene called Chapter 13, Panorama 01. If you're not, go ahead and open the file from the Chapter 13 subdirectory. We're going to export a panoramic scene for this file. The first thing we need to do is make a camera that sits at the position we want the viewer to be looking around from. In this case, we're going to put it off to the right side in the middle of the room. We're going to create a new camera for this. Click on the Create panel and select the Camera category. Click on the Free Camera option and in the front viewport, click once about halfway up in our room and just to the right of the piece of hanging equipment in the ceiling. Then we need to move it to the middle of the room in the top view or the left view. Go ahead and click on the Select and Move option from the main toolbar. And in the left view, click on the x-axis and drag the camera over to the right to place it more in the middle of the room. One thing that's very important, and the reason why it's easier to use a free camera instead of a target camera, is that the camera needs to be perfectly level both horizontally and rotationally. Using a free camera allows you to make the adjustments just a little bit easier. Once you've moved the camera, right-click in the Camera 1 viewport, press C to switch the view to the currently selected camera view, and with the camera still selected, click in the Name Type In and rename the camera to Panorama Cam. So go ahead and type in Panorama Cam and press Enter. Then from the Render drop-down menu, select the Panorama Exporter. This takes us to the Utility Panel and we can see that the Panorama Exporter is available to us. Click the Render button. The first thing we need to do is determine the size of our final panoramic image. It will use this size to create a series of six images that it will then stitch together to create a final panoramic image. Click the 1024 by 512 resolution option. That's a good size. It's not giant and it's not too small that we can't really see anything. It's a good medium resolution. This dialog is just like the Render Setup dialog. The only difference is that everything is in one dialog and you have to scroll down through all the rollouts. Instead of clicking on the individual panels like you would in the standard Render Setup dialog. Let's make sure that we're rendering the panorama cam and then click the Render button. Now you'll see it render six different still images. Once all the images are complete, the panoramic gets stitched together. Go ahead and click in the Panorama Exporter View window and drag your mouse around. If you click the mouse in the center and drag to the left or right, or up or down, you can see that we can pan around this image. And depending on how far you move your cursor from the initial point you click, will determine the speed that you pan around. This is quite interactive, and it's a very nice way to give your client the feel that they are part of the creation process. Keep in mind that this is still a static image, it's not an animation, but it can be an effective tool in communicating with your client. You can also export this panorama as either a spherical image, a cylindrical image, or a QuickTime VR.